What's up, crew? It's your boy, back with another reaction. This time we have Nuke's Top 5, 5 Scary Ghost Videos That Will Make You Say Nope. Shout out to E40. Uploaded July 27, 2020. Now, y'all already know all the important links will be down in the description. So, without further ado... I apologize for my pick being in my hair. I got a little fro going on. I pick it out. All that. I know it's ghetto, but I don't care. Don't judge me. I don't think that was a shadow, but it was on the other side of that window. I didn't even realize until I reviewed the footage that I'd captured probably one of the best shadow figures I've ever seen. The twin paranormal team, which includes twin brothers Ryan and River, along with their friends Nick and Wyatt, capture some very chilling footage of their own at the Clean Water Demon House. As soon as they begin their investigation, they start to hear strange, unexplained sounds coming from the darkness. They look like the type of people that would be into this shit. I'm not even being racist or prejudiced. Y'all know what that look looks like. If there's anybody upstairs, make that noise again. Yeah, I... All right, I'm going to keep this night vision camera recording down here just in case if we do catch anything down here. We're going to go upstairs. So let's oh go up there. God. See what we can catch. Why? Yeah, the twin paranormal team heads upstairs to investigate. However, not long after they get upstairs, they now suddenly begin to hear odd noises back downstairs. What they didn't know at the time is that something seems to have followed them to the second floor. You said that you heard stuff down there? What? Yeah, the walking outside was super loud down here. I didn't see anything when I looked outside. Did you see it? A no. small dark figure about the size of a young child seems to creep up the stairs right behind them. What happens next is truly bizarre. You 
can check out the full series of investigations of the Clean Water Demon House over on Twin Paranormal's YouTube channel. They have just recently posted an all-new part four of the series with even more scary unexplained activity. The Last Patient. TikTok user Noah works as a security guard at an abandoned hospital that will soon be demolished. His job there is to guard against trespassers who might want to steal the remaining hospital equipment that has not yet been removed. He claims that often while working the night shift, some strange and downright spooky things happen. So, when an alarm goes off one night inside the hospital, he records as he investigates the source of the sound. Hey, besides that alarm, I just heard some more sounds. I don't know what it is, man, but this place is creepy. bed seems to move on its own and Noah really just wants to leave but he can't abandon his guard duty later that same night he hears more noises and goes to check again making sure that all of the hospital rooms are empty then this happens all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and look over here checking the rooms and dude f this shit, honestly like As Noah is about to go into one of the dark rooms, he hears the sound of a hospital meal tray crash into something in the hallway. Dude, f this shit, honestly, like... So, two weeks go by and nothing much happens. But then one night, Noah starts to hear strange sounds again. This time, he records something downright terrifying. Alright, guys, I'm at the empty floors. I was hearing some noise coming up right now. Just kind of freaking me out, so I'm gonna be filming a little bit. Just need some. What the? Did you see it? As Noah is walking down the hallway, checking each room, he captures a terrifying dark figure just standing at a window inside one of the hospital rooms. Seconds later, Noah turns back to look into the room. And nothing there. So did Noah capture a ghost on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Fuck. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Hide and seek. Popular paranormal explorer and YouTuber Ricky Velasquez returns to the mysterious and long-abandoned log cabin in Catamaco, Mexico. The cabin seems to be actively haunted by the ghost of a woman and child. In a previous video that I featured on this channel, he captured some terrifying evidence on his live stream that shocked his viewers. Is that an adult and a kid? Using a Kinect camera in infrared mode, he captured what looks like the figures of a woman and child. They seem to stare at Ricky from the darkness before simply disappearing into thin air. After many requests from viewers, he returns to the decaying log cabin to find out more about the strange apparitions. Oh my god. This time he is joined by his friend and fellow paranormal investigator, Haguar. Soon after starting the live stream, Ricky sees something that sends them both running. Did you see it? A small shadowy figure the size of a child walks into frame and then quickly runs away and out of sight. Ricky and Hagor run after the figure and check the cabin, but they don't find anyone. As they head upstairs to investigate and are maneuvering their way around the missing ceiling, Ricky gets confirmation that they are not alone. 
Hola. Qué lugar, ¿eh? Cuidado. ¿Qué fue eso? Por allá anda el niño, ¿eh? Está... Ricky and Hagwar are unable to make out where the voice is coming from. At this point, Ricky asks the spirit to show itself. And Why? It does. Oh my God. Niño, algún espíritu, alma, demonio que se encuentra en este lugar, manifiéstate. Motherfuckers gonna learn to be careful what they ask for. See? That's what I'm talking about. Nene! A child quickly runs from right to left, right in front of Ricky. Strangely enough, Ricky doesn't even seem to notice the child. He only finds out about the strange appearance when he reads his live stream comments and sees that his viewers in live chat are trying to warn him. Paso corriendo. Paso corriendo. Paso frente a mí. No. ¿Tú viste algo? No. ¿Tú te gustaría liberar? ¿Te gustaría? ¿Por qué? ¿Qué tienes? Ay, ¿Qué? A pale hand violently scratches the back of Hagwar's neck. Up until now, Hagwar has always kept his cool, but even he is a bit rattled by the sudden attack. Ricky and Hagwar both decide to just end the live stream investigation and leave the creepy cabin. So, did Ricky once again capture the ghost of a child on camera? Or is it something else entirely? You can check out this full video with English subtitles over on Ricky Velasquez's YouTube channel. I'm good. He never left. Cassie yep. B from the YouTube channel Be Paranormal I'm says good on that her son tragically passed away at the very young age of 18. Since then, she says that she believes that his ghost might haunt their house. After hearing strange sounds in her house for weeks, Cassie sets up a CCTV camera to record in her living room. One night, she catches this. Now the dog apparently sleeps here all the time and never tumbles off the couch arm like this. Cassie believes that he was pushed, but obviously this might just be a silly doggy accidentally falling off the couch. But the next night, something happens that is quite a bit harder to explain. Someone seems to be looking into the house from an outside window slowly clawing at the glass. Then, as the camera's night vision turns off, the person seems to disappear. Even stranger, as the light inside the house turns on, the figure at the window not only disappears, but actually seems to reappear inside the room. So what do you think this is? Could this be Cassie's son returning home? Is it simply a trick of the light? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Reaching out from the other side. Nah. Over on the Taiwanese ghost hunting channel, O1 Supernatural Studio, paranormal investigator Seime is exploring an abandoned karaoke club that was partially destroyed in a fire. Now, this club was a bit rougher than what you might think of when you think of karaoke in the Western world. It was divided into many semi-private rooms where people could do pretty much whatever they wanted. As a result, several people lost their lives due to violence and overdoses. And Semi says that some club goers perished in the sudden fire that caused the club to be closed down. 
Now, Sammy has heard creepy stories about this place. He is all alone and already a bit nervous as he starts his investigation. He says that a friend of his had attempted to explore the club only weeks earlier, but had ended up running out in terror after he heard an unexplained voice, followed by mysterious knocking from inside the restroom door. Sammy decides to test out his friend's story. He knocks on the same door to see if he can provoke some supernatural reaction. But at first, nothing really happens. Ew. I know it's abandoned, but that shit trifling. I ain't hear shit. Nah, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't heard nothing. Let's go. Now, a little shaken up, Sammy points a camera towards the door and starts asking questions with a K2 meter. He keeps hearing strange sounds and the K2 meter occasionally goes off, but nothing too extreme. But then, this happens. The man goes to the house and says, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the seems to press against the door from inside the empty restroom as Sammy asks questions. Then, the hand simply disappears back into the room. What the fuck? As Sammy continues to explore, he begins to feel an odd presence. An angry presence. You don't say. Yeah. You're not welcome. Duh? What do you mean? No shit. Good. Good. Great. Get moving. And with that, Sammy decides to just end his investigation and leave. Good. You can see more paranormal investigations over on his YouTube channel, 01 Supernatural Studio. Thanks for watching. By now, I'm sure I don't need to tell you. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell, and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, please follow me on Twitter. See you next week. Him deciding to leave was the first smart thing he did during that whole investigation. That was the first smart thing he did during that whole time he was there. He looked like a fucking goofy, like... Fam, why the fuck would you... You're looking for this ghost. Constantly getting signs that it doesn't want you there. And then a hand goes on the door. And then you start getting hit with shit. And now, during the most extreme time after you've been hit with an object, I think 
I should leave. I don't think the ghost wants me here. You don't fucking say. I don't know what it is, but seeing people get their comeuppance, it does something for me. Like, seeing people get fucked up when they come over there or anywhere, come to a place looking for ghosts and the ghosts start fucking them up, it does something for me. Like, in here, <laughs> it does something for me. Because seeing your stupid ass get what you want, oh man, it makes for good entertainment. But why were so many people, like two out of five videos, what's with these hands? The fuck? Like, literally hands were everywhere. They were grabbing people. They were going on doors and shit like that. Like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you drop a like, a comment, share the video, join the crew. That is all I have for y'all. So until next time, stay blessed, stay safe. I out.